In today's lesson, we are going to improve your speaking and fluency. So keep watching and let's start speaking English faster and better. Let's go. In today's lesson, we are going to practice your English speaking and we're also going to be practicing restaurant English. All right, so this lesson is going to combine two things. First, you're going to start to speak better. Your fluency is going to improve. Next, you're going to learn different English phrases for when you go to a restaurant. Now, in today's lesson, you will have two chances to speak, two chances to improve your fluency. You will have a conversation between two people. In this conversation, there will be a waiter and there will be a customer. Now, whenever there is the waiter at the very beginning, I will speak. And when the customer's role comes, you will speak. And to make it even simpler, basically, I'll read black, you'll read red. So, whenever you see a red font, whenever you see a sentence in red, I want you to read along very quickly before it's my turn. So this is going to test your ability to read and speak quickly. And don't worry, you will get a second chance. We'll switch roles. Next, you'll be the waiter or waitress and I'll be the customer. But that's not all. At the very end of the lesson, I will include five useful idioms or vocabulary or slang words. I have used a lot of different natural vocabulary, some natural slang and idioms. So watch until the end because I will give you five very useful idioms to remember. Okay, so let's start. And in this next dialogue, in this next part, I'll read black, you read red. I'll start because I am the waiter and you are the customer. All right, let's go and good luck. Make sure you speak quickly. Make sure you speak fluently. Try to read and speak in chunks of five words. Good evening, my name is Tom. I'll be your server tonight. Can I get you started with something to drink? Coming right up. Uh, are you ready to order or do you need a few more minutes? Our lasagna is to die for. It's homemade and absolutely delicious. If you're looking for something lighter, our grilled salmon is also spot on. Great choice. Would you like to kick things off with a salad or some garlic bread? Excellent. So we've got one lasagna and a side order of garlic bread. Anything else I can get you? Here we go. One lasagna and garlic bread. Can I get you anything else right now? Absolutely. I'll be back in a jiffy. Here you go. Enjoy your meal. And give me a shout if you need anything else. How was everything? I'm glad to hear that. Would you like to see the dessert menu? Great choice. I'll get that packed up for you. Would you like anything else?
All right, I'll be back with your tiramis and the check. Here you go. Thank you for dining with us tonight. Have a good evening. Thank you. Hope to see you again soon. Okay, so that was the first time. How'd you do? Were you able to speak along with the dialogue, with the conversation? Were you able to speak along quickly before it was my turn? If not, that's okay. You can always try again. Keep watching this video. Keep trying and learn how to speak quickly and more fluently. But we're not done. Now we're going to switch. Next, you will be the waiter or waitress and I'll be the customer. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, if you're watching this for the first time, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up to this video and hit that notification bell. The notification bell will tell you when I post my next video or when I do my next live English lesson. So make sure you do that. So now let's switch and you will start the conversation. You will be the waiter or waitress. So you'll begin and then I will be the customer. All right, let's speak quickly and fluently. Hi, Tom. Yes, I'll have a glass of the house red wine, please. I think I'm ready. What's your recommendation for the main course? The lasagna sounds perfect. I'll go with that. I'll take the garlic bread, thanks. That's all for now, thanks. This looks amazing, thanks. Actually, could I get a refill on the wine? Will do. Thanks so much. It was fantastic. The lasagna was just what the doctor ordered. I'm stuffed, but the tiramisu sounds tempting. I'll take one to go. That's it, thanks. Thanks, Tom. You too. Okay, so that was the second time you got to practice your speaking. This time you were the waiter or waitress. How was it? Now, I think the waiter and waitress's role is a little bit more difficult. I think the customer's role, the customer's English is a little easier. So that's good news. It's not that difficult when you go to a restaurant to order and to speak with the waiter or waitress. But it's very important to understand the waiter or understand the waitress. You know, your comprehension, your listening is very important. So it's important you do well with the waiter's role as well. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Next, we are going to go over five vocabulary words, five idioms or five phrases that I think will be useful for your English. Now, I used a lot of different phrases and vocabulary words and slang and idioms in this dialogue. If I don't go over one of the ones that you wanted to learn about, 
please ask me about it in the comment section. I will answer all questions. All right, but for now, I'll go over five that I think are very useful. Number one, to die for. In this conversation, the waiter said the lasagna is to die for. This means it is great. It is desirable. It's amazing. So the lasagna is to die for. That means it's super delicious. It's great. Number two, kick things off. Kick things off. In this conversation, the waiter asks the customer, would you like to kick things off with a salad or some garlic bread? This means to begin or to start. So would you like to begin your meal with some salad or with, a, with some garlic bread? All right, so to kick things off means to start something, to begin something. We can use it at a restaurant. We can use it in business, for example, at a meeting. We can use this in many situations, okay? So please remember to kick things off. Number three, in a jiffy. In a jiffy. The waiter says, the waitress says, I'll be back in a jiffy. I'll be back in a jiffy. This means I'll be back very quickly. I'll be back very quickly. So in a jiffy means very quickly. Number four, give me a shout. Give me a shout. Again, in this conversation, the waiter or waitress says, if you need anything else, give me a shout. This means call me, let me know. So if you need anything, let me know. Please tell me. All right, so give me a shout. And number five, just what the doctor ordered. Just what the doctor ordered. In this dialogue, the customer says, the lasagna was just what the doctor ordered. Now this means it's exactly what I needed. It's exactly what I needed at that point. So I needed that lasagna. It was perfect. It was a perfect fit for that situation. All right, so it's just what the doctor ordered. All right, so that's five idioms, five phrases, five vocabulary words that I think are really useful. We use them in everyday conversation in the US and in Canada. So please remember these phrases, add them to your vocabulary list, start using them in your conversation. Now, this type of lesson, it's a speaking lesson. It's really important that you do it over and over again. We want to learn to be able to speak quickly, speak more fluently. We want to remember these set phrases. So the best way to do that is to repeat and practice over and over. Now, you can do that by watching this again. You can watch it over and over. But I also have other speaking lessons on my channel. So make sure you check those out as well. And remember, if you're new to this channel, don't wait. Don't hold off. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. All right, I'm here to try to help you improve English. So by subscribing, I think I'll be able to help you. All right, until the next lesson. See ya. Thank you very much for watching today's lesson. Today we practice a speaking lesson at a restaurant. We learned a lot of great phrases that will help your fluency. Make sure you do this lesson over and over again and make sure you're practicing how to speak quickly, better, faster, and more fluently. If you like today's lesson, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. Until the next lesson, see ya.